Hey everyone, this is Marcus Stewart from Game Informer. Uh, just a quick note about this first episode of Super Replay. Uh, if you did not watch it live on Twitch when it aired last week, the first hour was kind of plagued with some technical issues. We had to restart the stream a couple of times before we finally got it on the third attempt. Uh, basically, the video wound up being uh, incredibly choppy and kind of a, of a pain to look at, so... That part has been edited out of this first episode, and it pretty much just cuts right to the uh, top of the second hour where everything was working fine. Uh, so just as a heads up, you know, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, that is where we're starting. Uh, unfortunately, you won't see the sort of intro and preamble uh, for this game, but I think it's still a very good time, if I do say so myself. So yeah, without further ado, please enjoy this super replay. Let so me know how everything looks. In theory, we should be live, right? We That's should be theory. live. Live as can be. The live as is humanly possible. It's looking fine on my end. Probably the best look so far. I, like the rest of the yeah. world to chime in. It is. I'm looking at it as well. I've got. I did drop the frame up. rate. It looks pretty good. Crater Gaming says, "Oh, so smooth." Look at all those frames. Look at all those funny because I took away frames, but. <laughs> I know, but it makes it run <laughs> Look at all I, the frames run, that remain. Is it a game that runs at 60? I, I, I dropped it to 30. I mean, I highly doubt this game ran at 60 in 2008. <laughs> but. I, I mean, well, that's the funny thing, though, is like some, you know, like. Like on console? Uh, Super Nintendo games all ran at like 60. You know? Oh, I guess that's true. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So yeah, it's looking good, man. I think we have a, I think we have a proper stream. Beat down I think Brian. We, we have a proper stream? We have a proper stream. So that means I have to actually figure out, uh, remember how to play the game now? I know. <laughs> you are doing... So it's kind of juggling multiple things, and they gave me this big ball to play with, and I'm supposed to do something with I it. I think you have I to deliver it. Like, put it in your, your truck. Oh, your okay. Car. And take it to a little... I was going to walk there, and then I remember I had a car. Yeah, you do have a car. And then this, the trick is keeping it in there. I, I was gonna say, is this a physics thing or is it gonna stick no matter what I do? I I think there's some physics to it. Oh gosh, look at this. Whoa. Okay. Oh, I thought that was just gonna open up automatically. Uh, well, I guess now you can. There you go. Alright, we looking good, everyone? <laughs> now I'm paranoid. Yeah, Dr. Mono says like, smooth. Smooth like butter? Like a baby's smooth bottom? Like a. Running out of smooth comparison? Running out of smooth, smooth analogies? Good, okay. I think you fixed it, Marcus. I just fixed this town, too. A bunch of stuff is opening up suddenly. With random numbers, 47, the other building said 30? I think those are things you have to collect, right? You need... Like, oh, to get in there? Seven, whatever. Probably TV music games. notes. The first game world is now activated. Each game world has several acts where jiggies can be... <laughs> I was gonna. I was stopping myself from saying it, and then you picked up the ball Sorry, and ran with I, it. I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, that's that's too low hanging fruit for my taste. <laughs> Let's see. So yeah, now we're going to the first one. I guess it makes sense that the music notes are called Jiggy if they're going with the you know jiggy with it sort of well, wait hold on i don't think they are i think the jiggies are the god the like if you press the if you press the pause button you'll see the colored creatures on the right rail i think those are jiggies aren't they wait is it okay i don't um let me see yeah, here i'm googling jig are those the jigs those are the jigsaw puzzle pieces those oh are like that makes right. infinitely more sense that makes way more <laughs> sense yeah okay we went the will smith route that's right uh which you don't want to do that See, so discovered a warp, not much use at the moment, but find another and you'll be able to travel instantly. Okay. Okay, so we need <laughs> yeah. puzzle pieces. Jelly Banana has two comments back to back. Jiggies as in jigsaw pieces. Or no, they just said it once. They said streams looking good. They're like, you oh, idiot. Master, this is part of the Saw universe. Interesting. It's a jigsaw. Okay. Oh, okay. This the... That's probably right. I'm not gonna I that. think there was only 15 Saw movies out by when this game came out. <laughs> Let's see, where where can we find? Well, you should you need to go to that world. I like Jiggy. Oh, I already opened one. Yeah, I thought it was telling me to well, go get wait, some. Actually, you might be right because you I needed should... at least you needed one. Wait, can I? 
Oh, sorry. I thought. Never mind. I thought I there was an instruction I misread, but no. Okay. Uh, does my car exist in perpetuity? Is that just gonna be stuck in the river forever? <laughs> I don't know. I think there's like a way to recall it. Yeah. So, like, do you have enough to go in there? The, okay. Apparently, I do. All right, we're playing real banjo kazooie now, everyone. But you didn't have streams fixed. Banjo's happening. Log is here. Nutty Acres. Is that the Donkey Kong font? <laughs> it looks pretty close. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, can they do that anymore? <laughs> Raider Gaming says, complaints about the character models aside, this is actually a pretty good looking game. I I like the character models. Is that a thing that people don't like? I like yeah, I just, that's just like the Banjo style, right? The stylized look. It was a little rounder, I think, on N64. And now it's gotten a little more uh, angular. Thing. Which is weird, you'd think it'd be the opposite because there was less polygons on the N64, but... Humba Wumba! Oh, Mr. Fit! The other one. Oh, I like this guy! He's got blue hair Simba? I, I think these are all characters that appear. You would you don't know better than me, I don't... <laughs> I remember the... The Gopher, the Witch... And... Tui had, like, way more characters. There were a lot more characters too. Oh, there's your car. Oh, that, that guy's offering puzzle pieces, I think. Or he, he was a one. boss. He was like a enemy in the last game. In Banjo Kazooie. Hey there, Klungo. Long time no see. Which was bangers fine with Dash. <laughs> what? It's just, it's just I'm laughing at Bangers and Dash because it's like, oh yeah, this is a game that was made in Europe. <laughs> like, oh yeah, <laughs> Brayer is a British studio. Very British, yeah. I've Very never had Bangers and Mash. I've had plenty of opportunities to try it, but I always go, I always go with something like um, Shepherd's Pie or Fish and Chips. If it's like a British menu, I go like those. I like those better, I guess. Even though I've never had Bangers and Mash, so I can't compare. But yeah. it's hard to beat a good Shepherd's mm -hmm. Pie for me. Yeah, yeah, Shepherd's Pie. Yeah. All right, so what's Clungo oh, saying? Uh. -huh. uh well, we want the guy. Jiggy. He's saying, oh, this means Klungo has a challenge. When Klungo's SSS challenge? Or is he just saying Klungo's... I think or, it's, yeah. Apostrophe S, I think. Klungo. All right, what's your challenge? Oh, right to it. Big fire down on farm and nuts burn easy. Bear get to farm quick before harvest goes. No one talks normal in this game. <laughs> That's fine in theory, Kipper Breath, but even if I want to help. You know, Kyle, I should just have you voice Kazooie. If I, I, could, be, I could be Banjo. I guess so. Well, I'm behind. I'm, I'm delayed. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's so, right. You would read. Yeah, I would read like 10 minutes later. Not 10 minutes. It's like five seconds, but it's enough. For you. Yeah. Oh, Oscar Riho09 uh, pointing out that the music is from uh, Grant Kirkhope. You know? Grant Kirkhope did all the Banjo Kazooie soundtracks and Goldeneye and Mario and Rabbids. Yeah. And, and the Mario movie, though, <laughs> it doesn't tell you. <laughs> yeah, he's not credited, which is a bummer. Uh, cool. But the, the DK rap does kind of make an appearance in there. Which it was weird because I saw that credit and it just says from Donkey Kong 64. Like, that's the credit. <laughs> it's just like, what a weird credit. It's like, it's from this game, and that's all. Don't worry about it. You're so thorough with those music credits. Well, I wonder what happened there. Okay, get across land and the farm here as quickly as possible. Okay, so it's a race. Essentially. Oh, you're, not carrying, you're not carrying water or anything. You're just racing. Or a time trial or whatever. Oh, I'm going. There, I thought there was going to be a countdown. It was just go. <laughs> oh wait, am I going the wrong way? Am I, I was following the track in front of me, but I think I was supposed yeah, to Yeah, let's do that, I guess. Chase the objective. Wait, I, what are you doing? Oh, you uh, I, I thought it was following the track, but I I saw the objective marker. It seems like the car like sticks to the ground pretty well. You know what I mean? Like it looks like you're almost going to flip over a couple times. There you go. Mm. Yeah, it's got some good traction inside. Okay. I hope I did it right. Farm not on fire after all. Okay, I did it. I guess. I I don't know. Right. Hooray! Did I? The time's still going, but 
Is it just talk to this guy? Yeah, talk to him. Thanks for the offer. Oh, yeah. Bonehead will skip lunch. There, win first challenge. Pretty, I, I, I just drove there and that was it. Okay. There we go, Kyle. That's, first Jiggy. I guess you did it fast enough. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that was good. <laughs> Just won some notes. The first of many jiggies to come. We can save that amazing replay, that amazing <laughs> run that we did. Okay, Bear did a good job and won first jiggy. Just not quite fast enough for a trophy. Oh, do I want a trophy? I guess if you do it in like a gold time or whatever. I mean, I could do it now because now I know what to do. I'll probably get it immediately. Do it. Let's see. If, like, yeah, let's, let's see what happens if you get it. You know, we're not gonna do this for every challenge. Unless the game makes me, but yeah. All right, let's do this. Now that I'm not just, I can just beeline it there. Yeah. Wimp out. That was the other option. Right, Remember, there's it? no countdown. No countdown. All right, here we go. This game still looks pretty. Oh, I love the way it looks. I just yeah. love the, the look and, it, it, you know, the, how stylized it is. It ages a lot better than if they were obviously going for, like, hyper-realism. But, okay, I don't like that I was almost falling in love. All right. I mean, um, my thing at the time was just, like, I just don't... I didn't want to be in a menu, like, making things. Right? I wanted to be running around with Banjo and, like, doing adventure -y stuff. Right. Oh, man, Bob. And I do... Oh. I admit that that actually is a fear of mine for Tears of the Kingdom, is that the actual act of building things isn't going to be super fun, and that, like, that will take up a lot of time, if that makes sense, you know? Like, I don't want to spend all my time in Zelda building things. I want to be exploring and finding things and doing dungeons and solving puzzles and stuff. Yeah. At least the, uh, the building is outside of the menu, like you do it in-world, which is nice. Yes, yeah, I think that will go a long way for me. And it seems like you just kind of do it on the fly of like, oh, I'm fighting a guy, I'm gonna... Almost like, I don't, I mean, maybe I'm like giving him too much credit, but it almost has like a Fortnite vibe of like, you can be in the midst of like a gazillion things happening. You're like, oh, I just built a house. <laughs> like immediately in front of the people that are trying to shoot me, I'm in a house now. God, it's so funny. I don't know if a lot of people even joked of like, uh, oh, they're just going for Fortnite in Tears of the Kingdom when they revealed all that stuff. Right. Because I think Fortnite just is no longer associated with building. Is that thing trying to kill me? Because people just just play the no build mode, you know? You think it'll ever reach a point? Because I don't know if no build is more popular than build, like what those numbers are like, but if it does continue to get more popular, do you think there's ever a point years later where people forget that Fortnite was about building the way people forget that Fortnite was not a battle royale originally. <laughs> yeah, they, people have totally forgotten that. Yeah, but like, I think I think there's a good a good portion of Fortnite's current players. Like I'm talking like double digit percentage, like 15 to 20 percent, that like just are kids who know their friend plays Fortnite. Started within the last year, doesn't know that there was building in it at any time. You know what I mean? It will be a mechanic that they will discover in the future in some other mode. And you know what I mean? It'll be a surprise. Thing. Right. What so, are you doing here? You're in like a lava place? I'm just kind of exploring. I was trying to see if there was a way to jump over because there's a lot of notes there, but I don't have like a glider and I don't. I mean, I don't think this thing can drive in through lava. I guess we can try it. Also, I don't know if. Kazooie's made a couple no. of. No! Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Shoot. Oh. <laughs> Wait, am I? <laughs> you know, the delay is kind of fun, Marcus, because, like, I don't really see what you're reacting to. <laughs> wait, am I not dead yet? Oh, <laughs> I was waiting for. Oh, wait. I thought it was dead. I was waiting for, like, a death animation and. Okay. Uh... Wait, is that lava? Maybe it's, like, hungry. Is it hurting me? Oh, now? Wait. I think I'm dead now. Wait, no. I'm... Wait, what? Okay. Uh, I guess it's. I'm so confused. I'm just gonna drive out of here. I was no. I get... <laughs> what is it? Oh, I see a little thing filling up on the side. Maybe that's my tolerance to whatever this is. I guess. I, I don't... What, what happened? What that? Do you have health in this game? I. I don't know. Okay, I'm a. I, I'm gonna come back to that when I have a way to jump over there, or maybe get a taller vehicle that I can climb up on, because I crash into every wall. 
Uh, yeah, what was that? <laughs> the La Lazarus Orange thinks it was boiling hot honey. And Kistosaurus says, just orange and yellow water, apparently. <laughs> okay. It was making burning sounds. That's why when he, when I got stuck, I was just waiting for, like, a, you know, a game over screen or something. And I just sat yeah, there. Yeah, me too. I, God. Yeah, it, it's not fun. I mean, boiling hot honey, that's that's molten sugar. Like, that would <laughs> melt you. <laughs> like, that's that's not too far off from just straight up lava. So, so what are you doing right now? Are you just exploring, just seeing what's in the world and stuff? Yeah, it, it does. It's not really prompting me to do anything else. It's kind of like, I don't know, just go do stuff. I, I was waiting to see if I run into another mission giver or a jiggy, jiggy holder. Um, yeah. I see a thing on the mini map, but it might be uh, the dude that I already got a jiggy from. Like, mm. so I mean, I guess I could just leave, unless I run into. Either more jiggies or more uh, vehicle parts, like boxes, because those are important. Um, Pick up more music notes. I that guy's attacking me. I don't know how to... F I haven't really actually fought anything yet. I kind of... And then it ran away the moment I got out of my car. Oh, wait, I was like... Oh, there, we there we go. There we go. Yeah, if you uh, hit... Oh, okay, so you do have that. Okay. I think you're just beating up your car. <laughs> it can, I mean, it just ran through hot honey. You can take it. <laughs> Hot honey. Yeah, like, I mean, hot honey is a real thing. You ever had hot honey? Like on a yeah, it's like spicy. It's spicy. Yeah, remember what Wendy's has that sandwich? It's like hot honey, hot honey chicken sandwich or something. And it's just auto save. Uh, yeah, we're pretty aimless right now, Kyle. I think I'm gonna try to see if I can leave and see if it gives me another tutorial to do something. I see it a hologram of what's his face up there. I'll go there. I mean, this, this is a big world. There's certainly there's other tasks for you to do here. It's not like you did everything, right? Yeah, there's this little thing here. I don't know what this is all about. But I mean, Mumbo I like is how... uh, <laughs> elsewhere. I like how everything has like rivets and looks metal, kind of. You know, even the trees and stuff. I like the grass, like just that it looks like a like a quilt. Yeah. All right. Oh, hell yeah. That's one of those bird things. Let's see what he's got. Oh, yeah. What, what are those guys called? Jingos? Is that nope. This is Jingo Speed Chant. It reached the target speed shown on your speedometer. Jinjo. To Jinjo. Uh, Jinjo. There we go. Jinjo when you picked him up. Okay. Jinjo. So think you're uh, fast now that you've got a set of wheels. Let's put it to the test. Oh, is it just another speed challenge? <laughs> How fast and furious are you really? <laughs> Jinjo looks like a Gumby character. He does kind of. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess we're just going to go real fast. A certain speed, so hit the accelerator to try to reach the target on your speedometer. So does that mean, I guess you could try it. I guess maybe, uh, I probably just need to get enough momentum and try not to hit anything so that I can hit the whatever speed. Wait, what? But I did, what? <laughs> I did it? <laughs> wow, you did it. Oh, okay. I thought you would have to upgrade the car or something. No, I did it. I hit, <laughs> I drove five inches and it's like, hey, good job. Okay. All right. Well, you got a Jinjo token. All right, I'll, yeah. There you go. Oh, that's, see, that's how they did it back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Testament oh, to how well I, oh, I like this owl guy over here. Oh, it's not an owl, it's like a yak. Sorry, I'm just gonna. It seems like it should break and give me something. <laughs> he looks friendly, dude. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know. He just, I don't know. He looks like he's got a little wind up. I thought he would open up and give me something. I'm just harassing this. All right. Well, he's had enough. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. At least, put, at least pick him up and put him back on. His yeah, feet. yeah. He's kind of look. Okay. Yeah, you're right. It's not the first time he's been tipped over. <laughs> All right. I guess we'll go. I mean, I know. I don't know how much I need for the. Uh... Oh, okay. There we go. Cutscene. The jiggy. Okay. Use your wrench to release the jiggy from the jiggovin. 
then transported to the Jiggy Bank. Okay. Okay, next button, there we go. Oh wait, nope. Okay, rotate the left stick. To put, okay. Whoop. Okay, there we go. Oh wait, that's the... Oh, now you have to pick it up and put it in there? Yeah. And there we go! Weird that you have to like do that manually. You got world number two open. Or act two or whatever. Let's open another door. Act two of them. Yep. Oh wait, so you go in and you do one mission and then you leave like Mario 64 style? I guess. Because yeah. that was always the nice thing about Banjo Kazooie is compared to Mario 64 is you could just stay in the world collect more chickies. For Mario is always like, you get the star, you're kicked out. And now you can come back and try to get another star. Well, they heard Tim Turry's argument that uh, Mario 64 was better. Oh, wait, no, he, he liked Banjo, right? Was he it? likes Banjo. He's That's the right. <clears throat> was it Dan that was on the 64 train? Most of humanity's on the 64 train. <laughs> uh, that's, that's the better one. Yeah, hey, that's probably... Ooh! We can make new stuff. Okay, what do we got here? We can make... Ooh, it's like a little, uh... Like a little Vespa, almost? Like... The Humba Taxi. So you have to... Wait. Gain... Okay, so these are blueprints that you have. You're right. Okay. I can't... Make it in that menu, though. Okay, new vehicle butte. Come see Humba in Town Square. Okay, let's see. Oh, uh, Humba's the girl? Uh, Mumbo is yeah. this guy, right? Humbo's Mum Mumbo <laughs> and Humbo Wumbo. Mumbo and Humbo and... <laughs> I I would like to... It might be her. Okay, no, that's the gopher in the back. Uh, there she oh, is. There she is. I don't know if I can... Oh! <laughs> I smacked the crap out of her. Why did you do that? I hit X and X is the attack button. <laughs> like X is the oh. X is both the attack and the talk to people button. <laughs> so that's probably gonna happen quite a bit. All right, how much? She sells all, right. all right, let's see. Oh, okay, we we got seventy things. You can buy all of these actually. Oh, because you've been collecting notes like crazy. Okay, what do we? Uh, let's see. Let's toggle the display. Okay, so let's. What do we have all the parts for? We have for this one, and this is the only one. Yeah. Oh, okay. I. Why not? Sure. I, I don't know what we need a pusher for yet, but I'm sure it'll come in handy. Let's see. Medium. I'm trying to see what the common part that I'm missing, because I could just. So it looks like two of them need a medium engine, a taxi seat, a mirror. How much are parts? Yeah, yeah, had you find parts or? You can find them, but you can buy them too. Uh, okay. Medium engines are expensive. I can buy the spoiler I need. I'll buy one medium engine. I think. See, I, I thought you would need like that engine to hit that ta that speed challenge. Yeah. You know. So I can afford the uh, the Humber Racer too now because of the parts I just bought. Okay, there we go. That's all we can do for now. I forget. I have to. I can't build in the menu. I have to go somewhere to do that, right? Is it I don't know. Mumbo's Motor Shop. I have to. Ooh, excuse me. Let's see. I would like to know, chat. Uh, I don't know if this was said in the like fifty other test streams we did before this, but um, <laughs> what is everyone's consensus about this game? We mentioned before this. Uh, it's a kind of divisive Banjo Kazooie. Where, where's everyone staying? Are, are there fans? Are there less, you know, not so much fans? Where, where are we at? All right. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm curious too. I, because I, I, again, like we maybe we said it when we first started, but uh, before the stream was uh, nice and functional. But like I, I, I did not like it when I played it. But mostly because I just didn't want to build things. I wasn't interested in doing that. Uh, I just wanted to play like a sort of Banjo Kazooie style game. So I did. I really didn't give it a real shot. I really kind of played for like a few hours, 
built a few things and was just like not feeling it and moved on. And then I think I think those if there's any detractors, they're players like me who just never really tried to play it for what it was. If that makes sense, you know, like you need to acknowledge that it's not a platformer, right? It is a it's like a building game, and it's like the idea of building vehicles is fun. But um, so that's, that's why when you suggested it, that's like one of the reasons I was like, oh, this is a cool idea. Other than the sort of fun Tears of the Kingdom connection of seeing Link build vehicles and stuff, I, I want to see how the game holds up and, you know, how wrong I was, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm trying to find out how do I pull up my blueprint that I just bought because I can kind of free build here, but I kind of wanted to make the vehicle that I just bought the blueprint for. Maybe exit garage and see if there's like a... Yeah, because I went over to uh, here, vehicle database, um, but it's like... A database? That seems like that would be it, yeah. Well, I... New, and if you did new vehicle? I hit new oh, vehicle before and it brought me back to that menu. I don't know if it's... Cause... Oh, Is wait. Send... Oh, it's load vehicle. Oh, um, cool. oh, there you go. Oh, Is... okay. Load will replace oh, the current oh, vehicle oh. in the garage. Sure. Oh, is it already done? I guess so, yeah. yeah I mean, that's even better. <laughs> I don't have to do anything. So, are we just good to go? Yeah. Okay. That's. Wait. Wait, no. Where's where's my car? When I'm still on this piece of crap. Where's my car? Dude, where's my car? Yeah, I'm sorry. I want my cool car that just, that just appeared on screen and then immediately disappeared. Wait, you have to evaporate into cubes to enter his work? <laughs> okay, uh, let me see. I don't know if I'm understanding this right. Okay, I brought it up. This vehicle requires more parts than you have? Is that what it's saying? Oh, I'm missing parts. Okay. I thought you I had are? all the parts for it. I don't have all the missing parts shown by ghosts. Oh. Okay, so. So you don't. You can't use that one then. Alright, then no, I guess we gotta go. That's not super clear, <laughs> but we'll go with it. Can I drive the car just right into the level? Yes. Alright, we'll figure this all out. There's a lot of systems they're throwing at us. Alright, three jiggies in this zone, Kyle. Okay. Alright. So this is, okay, so then like, so now you can probably collect those three without me. Without you know what? what I mean, like do each of the tasks. You don't get kicked out of the level, that kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's get some. Uh... Oh, there you go. I see one. Or I saw one rather. I saw like a symbol for. A... Oh yeah, he, they're over there. I'm just getting the. Uh, getting the notes. The notes real quick, which I probably should have stayed in the car for, but. <laughs> hey, hindsight's twenty twenty. Yeah. I want to see if I can make like a. I, I have some really dumb ideas in my head for things I want to make, and I, I want to see how far I can push this system. And it looked like you could sh upload and, and share blueprints online. I don't remember if that, like, is that a feature that this game had? And I wonder, are those servers still up? Can we download people's stuff? Yeah, maybe, hey, chat, if you guys played this game, maybe you can send, oh, oh. send us uh, <laughs> your, your thing. That would be cool. Send us your wackiest uh, creation. Let's see, Mumbo not know it's a bomb, bomb explode. I don't like reading Mumbo's dialogue. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> By the way, let's see, Who Can 6 said they loved Banjo-Kazooie, but never played this one. Holly Spice Bulls really liked Nuts and Bolts back. Okay. Uh, Oscar, uh, Oscar Riho uh, was a fan of the original. Uh, didn't play this one, it sounds like. Played a couple hours when Where Replay came out, says the dust map. I'd like to finish it. I could beat the final boss in the remaster. Okay, now they're talking about the Greyhound. I'm bad at building, so wasn't a big fan. Too many nuts and bolts here, says Zach Flippy. Hey, Zach Flippy. Hmm. I was going to say, too many nuts, not enough oh. bolts. Lenient Lasagna says you can't use custom vehicles in the hub world. That's surprising, right? <laughs> Why would they limit when to where you could use your vehicles? You said you can't use them in the hub world? Does that mean you can yeah, use them in the actual levels? I guess so, yeah. Okay. That seems so strange to me. Why would they limit it? Unless, I don't know, maybe the hub world, because the hub world looks like it's got a lot of stuff you can get into. Could you possibly make something that could break the game of like you're accessing 
areas that are gated by like story stuff, whereas the the, oh, yeah. the regular levels are a little bit more freeform. Yeah, it could be. All right. Um, oh, I should probably put this on. There we go. All right. It looks like a mic. Looks like a mic. It looks like your microphone that you're using. Oh, the bomb? Yeah. Oh, and that went wrong immediately. Oh, now that just fell. Out. Is it still? In and now way? my car's are rolling away from me. That is fine. All right. There we go. Is it in? All you right. Stop. Right. Yeah. So that object. Did you have to press a button to like make it go in the vehicle, or is it just you drop it on top of the, the basket? Oh, uh, you just drop it on top of the basket. Okay. Why does it say white phone? Yeah, I don't know. It's got like three. I have magnets. Press RB, I guess. Then <laughs> press RB what like 50 times. What? What's happening? Oh, they're throwing oh, magnets at me. I, I think the magnets are. Tr they're trying to take the the bomb off of my car, and I think I have to knock the magnets off. I think that's what it's saying. I, I thought think. you were, like, su sucking back the pieces that got knocked off. Oh, come on, get in there. Also, I see leaderboards. I <laughs> I would like to see if those are up still. I, I did it. I got a... I think I did it well enough to get a, a Jiggy. Congratulations. Despite my <laughs> confusion for a lot of it. That's going to be a thing for a while as, <laughs> as I get used to what this, uh... What this game is. Say what? He hit it with like a wrench. What's he doing? Yeah, that's not smart. He's the smart one. All right, I'm. We could go for the cool blue-haired Simba trophy, but I'm not gonna. Nah. Here, I can. Can I customize it in the like in this menu, or am I just looking at? Am I just yeah. examining? Wait, go go down again. Information. There's like a right bumper for information. Okay, it just kind of tells you stats about it. Yeah, I just wonder, like, if I find something in the world, can I immediately just slap it onto this? I don't know. That's I would cool. assume, so what's the point of, like, just looking at it in case you need yeah. a reminder? Like, yeah, this is a heavy tray. <laughs> All right, I need, there's a thing here I need to get. <laughs> Back on up in there. All right, we're going to hit this ramp. It's going to look real cool, Kyle. Yeah. Wait in a second. <laughs> it's going to look real cool. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, third time's a charm. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go backward. Okay, I don't know why this is harder than it needs to be. Okay, here we go. There we go, six stun, just for you, Kyle. Thank you. This would be a game probably good for six stuns. Oh. Although my thing with six stunts, that those, those couple of videos I did for game form was always I like to try to do games that weren't you wouldn't necessarily think of as games where you could, could try to do stunts and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like Gone people Home. Like, oh, I love that video, the episode you did with Gone Home. <laughs> well, people, yeah, people would be like, you need to do, uh, it's like Tony Hawk, six stunts. I'm like, well, no, but you actually do stunts in that game, so it's no fun. <laughs> it's kind of the whole deal, like do stu Stuntman Ignition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which they should bring that series back. Yeah, speaking of the name's Trophy Thomas. Look at this cool guy. Cool. Yeah, he's got a number one. That's how he let, lets everyone know. <laughs> in case there was in case you're curious. <laughs> Everybody's just his favorite number. Unless, of course, let's see. Alright, another race. A lot of races. I guess that's an easy way to... Yeah. I'm gonna see if Trophy Thomas is... Okay, he was only in Nuts and Bolts. <laughs> Looking up the uh, the the lore history of Trophy Thomas. <laughs> yeah, well, I wanted to see if he was in uh, Banjo Tooie. Have game characters lost a lot of their charm over the past ten years? Oh, look at Kazooie with the hot takes. Screw that board wall. Break it apart. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's see how we can keep up. All right. Uh, this seems unfair, because if this is a race, why is he... Why aren't we in the same, like, <laughs> line? He's, like, ahead of me. And wow, your thing is slow, buddy. Yeah, that too bad. I'm gonna have to give him a number two chain after this. <laughs> wait, wait, is it this way? So, okay. Oh, right, 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 right. I think he's... I think Trophy Thomas is, like... I can't look. I was like, how do I look behind? 
Oh, you can change the um, how far to zoom is, like a racing game. Okay. I think you can get up pretty close like that. And there we go. Ass whipped. <laughs> you had a. It's funny because you had a head start. <laughs> He's like. You I know. He yeah. was like remarkably slow. Like I was kind of like blown away. I was like. I'm actually really disappointed in Trophy Thomas. I expected better from him. <laughs> I know. I mean, he's got blue hair. Come on. <laughs> Wait, are we racing again? Is he doing best two out of three? Or what, did, what happened? Is that what happened? Oh, or did I accidentally hit rematch or something? Is he going faster now? I think he's going slightly faster. His brakes. I'm not passing him as easy. I'm trying to get... And he's also like... Right in front of me, and I can't. There we go. You can't get around it. Yeah, he's the kind of. You're trying to draft like Mario Kart style. It doesn't help that his vehicle is longer than mine, so that gives him like sort of an artificial lead, if that makes sense. <laughs> yes, you know? Like, <laughs> like, you're going the same speed, yeah. He's like, you know. Yeah, there we go. Alright, man. Pulling it out right Get out of here. <laughs> Crazy giant thing. Oh, this race is different. Okay. Oh, this is longer, yeah. Okay, so yeah, he was like. <laughs> he could not live with his own failure. What did that lead him? Back to me. This is, I mean, your vehicle doesn't really go super fast. This is. What are you? What are you saying, guy? Oh, whoa, whoa! Where did he come from? Whoa! Oh no! Did you see that? That was some Mario Kart rubber band AI there at the end. <laughs> like, all right. So you just got notes for that. No jiggy for that. Wait, why did? Wait, no, I got a jiggy. The first time, not the second time. No, he's he's saying take the jiggy. Oh, okay. Or am I misinterpreting? It was like two races. Like you had to do both races. To get the jiggy. No, I, yeah, I've got both. I I've got the jiggy. Yeah. Okay, and then you could go get his trophy if you cared. Okay. Yeah, if I wanted to <laughs> take take his soul along with his uh, pride. Doesn't this this thing that's on top of this little peak mountain? Doesn't it look like it's like a pile of beans with like a over it? Oh yeah, I think it is actually. It's like a um, like a sack of like nuts. Oh wait, wait, isn't yeah the place is called. Uh, what is it? Nutty, Nutty Acres? Nutty Acres, okay. That's yeah. <laughs> Nutville, I was close. Nutville. <laughs> Nutville. <laughs> we still don't know if you have health, do we? Uh, not quite. I mean, nothing's really been threatening so far, so. So how do I... You mentioned that I could anyone. quickly recall my car. I think... I, there we go. I was about to say, I thought there was maybe a, like, uh... Like in the tutorial, it did say something. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Maybe this will teach me what this yellow stuff is. Yeah, uh, sorry. Well, hot honey or orange water. Those were the so far. Orange right? water. <laughs> uh, let's see. What's the rumbling noise, Humba? I thought. Oh, this is. I thought she was saying her own name. Mumbo's dodgy magic, but by the looks of your face, it's worse than that. It's. I, I guess. This would make sense. Is is Kazooie British? Well, I mean, because Rare I guess, is British. I yeah. guess every character is. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Now I'm kind of reading her as like a, like a shrill voiced like British middle aged woman. <laughs> so, it's like, this is a dodgy course. <laughs> that's my. That's yeah, nailed it. All right, volcanic rocks falling. So fun fact, Humba Wumba was a, in Banjo Tooie, Banjo Nuts and Bolts, and Banjo Pilot. Okay. Also, we should point out that that name really seems incredibly insensitive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to like brush past that. Now. Humba that's, Wumba. I don't think that's great. Yeah. I like her hat. She's got a cool character design. Mm. I like her, uh, she's got the belt buckle. Belt buckle. Bolt buckle. So I gotta take all... 
I gotta take every rock that just fell to water and cool them down before they ruin the season's crops. So I guess I'm on some sort of time limit. And it also says the volcano has belched out massive fireballs. So like, is there any reason to believe that that's not lava? <laughs> Maybe they're just lava resistant. As bears are known to be. Yeah, that's true. I mean, how many... I don't think I've ever seen a bear walk into lava. But maybe. I don't think they have bears in Hawaii. Actually, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not really thinking about it. All right, here we go. Number one. I probably... I'm just going to go out on a limb and say I probably can't fit more than one. <laughs> uh, are there bears in Hawaii? No. Hawaii has no bears. That was a dumb way to do that, but it worked. <laughs> Actually, maybe it was better because I didn't have to stop and get out. I kind of could keep my momentum going. Yeah, honestly, I you do have to get out now to get it in. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe actually that's secretly a brilliant idea is just to drive it right in there and not into a tree. The trick would be to like, lift your car. Oh, jeez, you're like off the tower. Can you get it out or do you have to go into like a sort of deep? I can... It's harder to steer underwater, but... I can get out. <laughs> Does he breathe? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Does canonically, he breathe? <laughs> he breathe. Canonically, in platformers, we know that gorillas and apes and monkeys breathe underwater forever. That's what Donkey Kong thinks. Yes. But Banjo-Kazooie, I, I think he had water... I think he couldn't stand underwater. Yeah. I think maybe he got better since then because he's been swimming a lot in those past two games. Like, he just kind of increased his lung capacity. He's like CJ in San Andreas. <laughs> That's why he was fat in the beginning. He had too many of those. The, what's the burger shop in San Andreas? Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's kind of wild, right? You... Would you want that back? Did you engage with that a lot? Because I, I definitely went through the, the whole phase of like he's going to be as big as possible and then I made him as ripped as possible. And... Yeah. I did that. I think I did it just for fun. I made him look bad. You know. Like made him overeat. Just to see how it worked. Oh. You know. And then uh. Like the Sorry. The, I thought the water was deeper than it looked. Because it's not. I mean my favorite thing about Insane Andreas was like that sort of RPG-ness of it. Here's like I got my life skills like absurdly high ride a bike as fast as I can drive a car, you know, and could jump like 40 feet in the air when I bunny hop. <laughs> I was like that. It'd be great if GTA 5 had that, because then you could do it with three characters. You could have uh, three super ripped dudes or three super out of shape dudes. And then you just run a heist together, like, but you're out of shape so you can't move very fast. Alrighty, we got all the jiggies. You don't have any ability to turn up my spoken volume, do you, from your end? Uh, yeah, I can, I can do that. Okay, apparently I'm touch quiet, according to the Dust Mat and Greyhound. Kyle, Kyle is quiet. I just jacked you up. How does that, is that better, is that the same? It's here in the comments. Hello, Big Slice Gaming, hello. Big Slice! Alrighty. So you got, there were three Jiggies here and you got all three. Got all three. And then I guess that, so you're done. So then you leave, I guess? Yeah, I mean, we can stay to collect notes, but I'm just gonna go. Unless there's any other hidden thing. I mean, I'm sure there's other stuff here. But I think we're still very much in sort of the, uh, <clears throat> the learning stages of the game. So I'm gonna try to beeline it so I can get through all the, uh, anything they need to teach me early on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, well, actually, we can probably get this Jin. Jinjos are important. Right. We assume. We assume. <laughs> I I asked with a question mark. Here we go. Jinjo Sumo. Is this another one that I can win in seconds? Yeah, what's gonna happen? First to get Why pushed. Okay, we're doing a... the, the puzzle pieces to like imply that you, you're changing positions, or, but then it, you haven't. <laughs> oh, we're doing this with vehicles. Okay. So you have to push another vehicle out. Do you, can you try, do, do you have, choose vehicle? Yeah, I was gonna oh, say, I have a pusher, right? Right, yeah, see if you. Okay, no, that's, uh, there it is. There we go. It's like BattleBots. Yeah. You ever watch BattleBots? Like Spike oh, TV? Yeah. 
All right, here we go. So I'm pushing you, I guess, through the... Oh, oh, wait. Actually, he's getting underneath me. That's a problem. <clears throat> what? That's him in there? He's in yeah, the, that's, that's yeah he made it. Oh, this thing steers. Not great. Uh, oh, there we go. It's, it's a little on the wheel. Okay, there we go. There Get we out go. of there. There we go. Oh, wait. There, okay. <laughs> Are you going to get pushed out in first? I don't know. Big fella. There we go. I don't Big know what these are for game. yet, but they probably you matter. Are getting them. Big Slice Gaming says, I gave this game like 20 minutes before I quit. LOL. That's kind of me. I gave it more than 20 minutes, but um, I kind of like saw the writing on the wall. Of, like, <laughs> okay, this isn't, this isn't what I expected it to be. Right. And, but I, I, and I've, even at the time, I felt like I was being a, a bit unfair, if that makes sense. You know, like, I was, I never fully wrote it off, but my first impression was like, my first impression was I, I didn't want to <laughs> Get out of here, civilians. <laughs> I run this town now. Let's see, bottles. Remember, I used to be dead. <laughs> so he's, uh, <laughs> No one has I ever got over that. I like that, but fortunately, I got over that. That's <laughs> I great. got that's over it. <laughs> you know, that's a sentence that's never been said sincerely in human history. I used to... well, I mean, there have been people that have, I guess, clinically died and came back. But you think they've ever introduced themselves? Like, I used. Did you know that I used to be dead? And if, if that happened to me, which would be a horrible traumatic experience that I hope never does. Oh wait, I doesn't bottles like me? show you around basically? Didn't he do that in the other games? I don't know if yeah, I want he was like a tutorial character. Like he yeah, would tell you I'm gonna walk away from you. I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, you can talk to people. I didn't realize everyone had something to say. Can't believe they let Mumbo build a shop here. I'd love for them to. Uh, I guess. Oh, he. Yeah, he's mean. There's two of he's them. Got he's got a. He's got a twin. Oh, who's that? Way over there, <laughs> in distance. You see that? Oh, that's the um. What was the name, Mr. 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 White, Mr. Wit? Mr. Wit. Mr. White was it? Or am I thinking of Breaking Bad? I don't know. I have no idea what you're thinking. Of. I We're thought that was his name when they did the little roll call of all the characters. Oh, I don't know. But I, I, I don't know. I'm thinking of like Jesse. Like, Yo, Mr. White. <laughs> 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 and I can't get up that hill. I think I need my my car to get up there. Yeah, I'm up there. Why is there a two written on that wall? What? Which wall? Oh, is that like the second zone? Like maybe that's like the second major zone. Uh, actually, I wonder. Cause maybe that hill is what gates you. Like maybe my vehicle can't. Wow. Wow. Oh wow. That's okay. <laughs> it's turning real sharp. Let's... <laughs> okay. Yeah. I can't. I think I need a vehicle to get up there. I assume that's how they gate it. Yeah. Or I need a special kind of vehicle to get up those hills. Yeah, something with better traction, I guess. Yeah. From wheels, I guess, you could put on that. Ooh, but... hello. These are important. And I also what just remembered I have to go to the Jiggy Dispenser, I believe. Oh, right, yeah. That's yeah. weird. I kind of like that, though, that you sort of have to do it manually, you know? Oh, to, like, crank the to get them? Yeah, to be, like, deposit your winnings, you know? Yeah. Yeah, what is that thing? What, uh, what there are usually in? parts, I believe, right? Like, you bring them here, does a mumbo give you whatever's in the box? Yeah, place in pink zone, talk to mumbo. Yeah, yeah. See, so, yeah, you should give me a new thing. New parts, okay. Oh, a gun! <laughs> oh, let's put a gun on, the, on our thing. Egg gun. Oh, yeah, see, Kazooie used to shoot eggs. Yeah, he doesn't have to anymore. B2K Rocks, first time chat. Hello, B2K Rocks. Is this on Series X? It looks so good for a 360 game. Uh, yes. Marcus is playing via Rare Replay, I believe. Yes. Um, on Xbox Series X. Yeah, it's got it's it's a game I think that has a good art style that will sort of stand oh, wow, wow. the test of time. You know, I think it'll always look pretty good. Right. Okay, we're gonna save. Uh, I would like to. So I think I can. I think I can use this one. It doesn't have the uh, the thing that's saying you don't have enough parts. Uh, oh wait, no, 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 no. no. Okay. So am I, I. I just want to use this one, but I also want to add the gun to it. Okay. Here we go. All right. Oh, so this is, okay. 
But this you cannot use in the hub world, right? Uh, probably not. But, okay, we can put it right there in the middle. And there we go. We got an egg gun. Sweet. My Dr. Eggman would be proud. And I assume this will save. It's, I'm like, I'm gonna... I don't know if I have to manually save it, because I feel like it's saving it to, like... Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna name it, uh... Gun, just gun fun. Gun. <laughs> well, too late. I'm already out of the editor, Kyle. You came up with a good <laughs> idea. That, that darn <laughs> delay. <It's> too late. <laughs> By the way, the sound defense on Twitch chat uh, notes that apparently the 360 version, the load times were really wrong. Uh, so Series X speed set up significantly. Which is oh, nice. so we would have been waiting another 30 seconds just now? Yeah, probably. Uh, and they also wanted to know, and I'm curious how you interpret this, Marcus. What's the backseating policy in this stream? Do you think that means like tips and stuff? Yeah, I assume that's what they mean. Um, generally, it's been like if we ask for it, like if we get stuck, we'll uh, yeah. reach out the chat. But a game and like say, this, though, where it's like maybe they have a tip that's like, oh, actually, you want to put the gun in the middle. Or, you know, I guess you did put it just on the middle just now, you know what I mean? But like, um, yeah. Maybe you're building something and they're like, I put that wheel, you don't want to put that wheel there, that's going to screw you up. You know, I'll say, uh, since you're kind of a, the guy, I can't see chat, by the way, guys. Um, All right. But I'll let you, I'll defer to you, Kyle. But I'll say if it's smaller stuff of like, hey, you know, like vehicle tips, like if you put this here or do this, thing, cool things happen, that's fine. I think uh, we usually gate like, I guess like mission critical stuff of like puzzles right, if it's or whatever. Puzzle, which I don't know if that's this kind of game. Right. But because I mean we just played Silent Hill and Dino Crisis, which were like very puzzle heavy. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not playing those. I'm glad I'd rather be playing something like this right now. <laughs> yeah. The biggest puzzle is like how many wheels in a gun can I put on this platform? <laughs> <laughs> And I opened up a, a new stage. Uh, there it is, stage three over there. Oh, wait. Plugs, uh, There's more plugs nine. How is the free building in the game? We're, we haven't dug into that yet. Don't really have a good answer for that yet. Yeah, I, I've opened it sort of like accidentally, kind of trying to search for a blueprint. Um, but we haven't really built anything from scratch. We've just kind of bought pre-made stuff, it looks like. I wonder if you can put like a pile of boxes here and he'll open them all at once because I... You know what I mean? Oh, that'd be kind of nice. I yeah. kind of want to find another one to test that. Or maybe I'll just leave that one there. And then if I you... sort of like naturally, because I'm not going to be building anything right now, so I don't need that part. But if I sort of organically come across another one, I'll bring it there. And it, and it will be a test to see if that stays there while we're looking around. Yeah, we're, we're pushing this game to its limits, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, all right, here we are. Nighttime. Oh. Spooky. Oh, this is the same oh. area, but yep. I guess it's just at night. Yeah. You gotta pull out your ukulele and place C A F E. I did that so much. I was like, I think I, <laughs> I think I too have also memorized. Like, every time the sun threatened to go down, I was like, nope. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. You know, I wasn't sure if you would know exactly what I was talking about. But yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. My, in my, we're talking about Chia, by the way. The recently released Chia. Chia in my game, in my sort of universe version of Chia, lives in perpetual day. <laughs> like, there is no... People are desperately time. trying to get to sleep, and they're like, nope. yeah, she's pulling out that ukulele. Oh, uh, Grin Grindel... I forgot her name. What is her name? Now I've forgotten. It's not Grindelwald. <laughs> we're fairly certain. I hate, because I've never even seen those movies. Uh, the Fantastic oh, Beasts Marcus. Movies. I hear they're bad. not missing out. <laughs> that is the... That is why I have not watched them. I... I had no interest in them when they came out just because I realized I was like, all my attachment to Harry Potter are the characters that like the, the you know, Harry, Ron, and Hermione is like, I'm not really interested if they're not in there. <laughs> yeah, so, right, right. And then hearing that it's not good, I was like, okay, I made the right call. I mean, yeah, I watched the second one and I remember just being like, what? Like, who are these people? Like, what is happening? <laughs> it's just really, yeah. Uh, Loco Coco. The old warp bags talking about. Remember Loco Roco? You ever play that? Yeah. It's all right. I, I remember, I don't know how tangential we want to go, but I remember I was in college and I was waiting for class to start and I took out the PSP, which was had just come out, right? So it was still pretty new technology. And 
I was in college, so like not a lot of people had them. Uh, mm. I worked at GameStop. I'd been excited for it. I saved up and got one. And I remember this this uh, guy was like, "Oh, is that a PSP?" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah." And he was like, "Oh, that's cool. I, I hear that looks like like PlayStation Two quality games. Like I saw like a racing game in a commercial or something." And I was like, yeah, yeah, it looks good. And he's like, look, what are you playing? And he looked over my shoulder and he saw that I was playing Loco Roco. And I and I could just see the disappointment in his face of just being like, like, what is this? Like, what is this? This does not look like a racing game. Like, why are you playing this weird cartoon game on your PSP? <laughs> he just seemed so confused by what he was seeing. Which, I mean, to be fair, Loco Roco is kind of a weird thing. Okay, I just figured out how to look behind you, but I I have to knock uh, the egg out of her car, so I equip our gun thing, but I realize I don't know how to shoot, and I'm hitting buttons and nothing shooting. Do you need ammo? Uh, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm hitting every button trying to shoot something to, to, to hurt this, this lady, and nothing else. So this is kind of my strategy, is, th is this right now, to sort of like gladiator style. Um, because otherwise, I don't think my vehicle might not be heavy enough to... Well, actually, maybe. Oh, like, oh, trying to get so her off balance. Her over, her. Right? It's basically what you're trying to do. Well, she's... Basically, because she's got that thing she's carrying, I'm trying to get that out of her... Her little Oh, cart. it got hit. Like a, oh, there it is! It fell out! Did you really? Oh, there... Okay, cool, cool. I... Yeah, I did it! <laughs> Wow, that was amazing. So that that would be something, chat, uh, if you could let us know. Do I need ammo for the guns or what, what button? Oh, yeah. Great yeah. question. So, I mean, if I think it did say something about ammo. I mean, it said egg. I assumed that Kazooie would provide the ammo, you know? That's what she does in the original. Yeah, that's kind of her thing. Oh, we got a new... Oh, high grip oh. wheel. Maybe that'll get me up the, the hill. No. Oh, yeah. There we Strength go. Strength medium. Grip high. Mm. That's Is a that good uh, motivational, like, grip high. We should all aspire to grip high. You know? I, I, you can see that on a poster with a little kid. From, a, <laughs> dangling from the from sound <laughs> defense, by the way, Marcus. Uh, yes, you need ammo on your vehicle to fire weapons. Okay. So I guess in the same way, you have to attach a gas tank. You have to attach a... Ammo tank? Ammo cash, I guess. I don't know if I have one of those. What is this pet's dispenser looking? Oh, okay. That was like the beginning of the game, but I don't know what it is. It's like a information board. Um, like, you know, like in Mario World, it's like, hey, this is Dinosaur Land. Right. Was that the only thing here? I'm only seeing that as a, the only jiggy, at least on the mini-map. Can you have a, can you, in the pause menu, is there like a better look at the full map or anything? Let's see. Uh, let's see. That looks like a map. The little photo oh, looks like a map. How do I scroll? There we go. Bumper? Wait, no. Photo replays. There's no map. Hmm. All right. Weird. No. Okay. We did it. Oh, <laughs> just, just, just. that thing just immediately decided to mess up my day. <laughs> All right. I wonder if this, uh, like, if this will be the end of sort of the prologue levels, now that I've got to the high grip wheel. Oh, and maybe. sort of, like, let me loose. But yeah, so far, I'm digging. I mean, I'm a sucker for platformers. It's probably my favorite genre. And even oh, though really? there's been a significantly less platforming in this game, like, just the vibe of a character platformer, I'm, I just... <laughs> I was I was about to say, I mean, arguably none. Like, I don't think you've jumped on a single platform. <laughs> I mean, I can jump. <laughs> you can jump, that's true. <laughs> oh, we got a, a Jinjo. What's what's his his deal? A fetch challenge. Listen to the description, find the lost item, and bring it back. You'll earn a Jinjo token, which can mean big prizes. Okay, the Bingo Palace is where I need to be taking these. And Showdown I guess Town. It lets you play bingo, apparently. Which oh. is where all the villagers went uh, at the beginning of Resident Evil 4. Yeah, yeah there, there's you don't see it, but there's a room with a Jinjo that's calling out the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you played Bingo, Kyle? Gosh, I don't know. Years. Decades. Decades. 
Have you ever won bingo? Probably, like in a classroom setting or something. Or yeah, just in general. Bingo I mean, it's not a guarantee. It's basically a game of luck. <laughs> it almost, yeah. Actually, it's entirely a game of luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no strategy. Yeah, so technically you could go your whole life not ever winning a bingo game. You could also, on the flip side, win every game of bingo you ever play. That is true. That seems less likely, but it is. It's unlikely. It's unlikely to be. I think the last time I played, I used to work at a 55 and older community. And I think they had a bingo night. I, I'm trying to, but I think I might have had to run. I don't know if I played with them ever. Um, you don't remember if you played it or ran it? I mean, it's not like the most standout thing. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I would remember if I ever ran a, a bingo. I mean, I remember running it, but I don't know if there was ever a time like that I ever got to participate for any reason. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's you definitely what I'm trying. Ran it. Yeah, I definitely like. Oh, okay. I, I called you the numbers. Yeah, I've 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 got a mean B12 voice. Because what I thought you were saying is like, I know bingo happened, but I don't remember if I was playing or running it. And I was like, I can't. I would remember running it. That seems like the. <laughs> you yeah, would bingo, remember. bingo occurred. Also, I forgot what this <laughs> Jinjo wanted me to do. He wanted me to find something, I think. Oh, well, those things are attacking me. He said, find, follow the description of something or other. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna get this this bingo token. <laughs> well, it's counting up, so you have all the time in the world, apparently. Uh, and I'm getting attacked by the magnet monsters. I guess they're gonna take whatever I find. Uh, yeah, chat. Did you catch what he wanted me to look for, or at least the description of what I'm supposed to be looking for? I'm just kind of. I'm just looking for a fairly obvious looking MacGuffin that was like, oh yeah, that looks like a collectible. A lot of oh wait, actually, there, I think that's it. That question mark down there. Oh, could be. I'm playing a lot of stories in the chat from people now who like about winning bingo a lot. <laughs> oh, we've got some bingo like experts, well, like winners. Let's see. Uh, mini, uh, mini LNF said I volunteered at an after school thing uh, we played it with the kids this one girl won like 60% of the prizes <laughs> and then the sound defense said one time at bingo night at college I won twice and the second time the other players started booing me <laughs> <laughs> that's not sports like, yeah, like I know but I mean come on it's like come on man can't, it's want. luck they can't and help it like, <laughs> I know but then it's like but I can't do anything about it I'm yeah it's like I'm just I'm, I have as much chance as you guys it's just, like, everything's just coming up Marcus, you know. Kane Whippen asks, yo, this is this the Tears of the Kingdom prep playthrough? Yeah, kinda. I mean that's sort of the that this was is, the starting line this is of the Ultra Hand right here. Yeah, it's like yeah, here's yeah. I Tears can't of the Kingdom. we're excited about that. Let's check it let's check out uh nuts and bolts. Can we break through this or it won't let me recall my vehicle, by the way, mm -hmm. which is why I had to walk all the way back with the I was thing. wondering why you're doing that. Yeah, it gave me things like, nope, that'd be too easy. Good luck. So I don't, I don't know, know if you're going to get a jiggy for this. It took you a while. It's still under three minutes. That's... Is that what it needs to be? I'm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping. It still sounds fast. Globo. Wait, is he calling me a Globo? Oh, I did it. I still... Okay. Oh, you, oh yeah, because we're just getting the coin, right? We're, I, in my head, I was like, oh no, 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 get... yeah, Jinjos are all about coins. They, they're not about that jiggy life. Yeah, and also it's like you either get the coin or you don't. It's not like if you do it this fast, you also get musical notes. Well, I thought it would be because I mean, why is there a timer at all then? You know, great question. Unless I it's just for bragging rights of like, wow, we're keeping track of how fast you did things, but it doesn't really matter. She was using high grip wheels. And, oh, they oh, upgraded it for you. You didn't even... Oh, yeah, the wheels are bigger now. Wait, first, let's uh, put our, our our things in the thing. Right. Well, it's actually probably a good place to, to call it, Marcus, because we've been playing for about two hours. Granted, about 45 minutes of that was tech, <laughs> tech troubleshooting, but that's how it goes. Some might uh, say that was the best part. Yeah. Oh. Okay, well, let's see what opens here. All right, so should we save what's up that hill for next time? Well, the question is, do you, will you remember to go up that hill? Because this was uh, no, there's a clear indicator that's like pointing okay. you up there. Yeah. Then yeah, I would save now and then let that indicator appear again 
when we start it up next week. Yeah. Because okay. that was always my problem with Dino Crisis, is I would start it up and be like, wait, where are we supposed to go? Okay, wait, they're teaching Only there was some record of what we were supposed to do. Wait, I can get a helicopter? Do I have this, or is it saying that I could get this? It's not Game really... blueprints. Past tense. Okay, so and yeah, you see it's it. pointing me up there. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. 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 This is, okay. Yeah, this is perfect. Okay, so we can go up there. We have a helicopter that we can maybe make. Uh, that'll be fun. Uh, possibilities, yes. so yeah. Good progress. I think you've, you've played more than I played. Uh, <laughs> back in the day. There you go. This is all uncharted territory for both of us. So yeah. yeah, but yeah I'm excited to see more and excited to check it out. And it will be kind of, it will be nice to have taken a really in-depth look at this before Tears of the Kingdom comes out. Because that will be a point of comparison. You know, it already is. So. Yeah. Exactly. So, cool. Yeah, thanks so much, Marcus, for playing and handling all the tech. I just sat here and hung out, so it was easy for me. Yeah, you did, you did that pretty well, though. No, oh, <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> cool. All right, well, we, uh, we'll see you next week, next Friday, pending any you know changes or anything like that. We'll let you know. Yeah, have a great weekend, everyone.